Hey, this is Ryan from My Fishing Cape Cod. It is one in the morning. I'm just waiting for my friend, Todd, to show up. Hopefully he didn't uh, sleep over. We'll see, I don't know, this could be a solo mission. But I've got some live eels, I've got some lures, some jigs, and I'm gonna head down to one of my favorite inlets here on the Cape. Hopefully, during the outgoing tide, there'll be some big striped bass sitting in this inlet and I'll be able to drift some eels, put some jigs in front of their face and get one more nice striper here before the season wraps up. It's late October so we only got a small window here left to get some real big fish here on the Cape before all these bass migrate south. All right so it's about 1:40 a.m. right now and I just arrived at the spot just parked the truck as you can see, Todd is not here, but he's coming. He slept over a little bit, so he's gonna meet me here. It's so calm right now, and we have almost a full moon. Really no clouds at all, it's a beautiful night. There's no wind right now. And just sitting here in the parking lot, I already heard what I think was a striper smacking bait in front of me, so. I'm hoping tonight will be a be a productive night. All sorts of little silver sides and bait fish here. Todd is 25 minutes away, so I'm gonna head out, start fishing. I can't wait 25 minutes. <laughs> Got some eels. We're in pretty good shape. So we have arrived, beautiful night, incredible night, especially for late October. Got plenty of eels. We're gonna start by just drifting eels in the current. This is very similar to the Cape Cod Canal. We're gonna cast the eel up current and just let it drift. We're not at the canal, but this is very similar to fishing the canal, just on a smaller scale. It's just a smaller inlet. So we'll see how things go. I'm excited. Todd is almost here. He's probably about 15 minutes away. So I'll be joined shortly, but until he gets here, let's see if we can get the skunk out of the trip. What a night, man. You might remember Todd from some of the tuna fishing videos on the website. Todd was the guy who hopped on board my boat, the Miss Loretta, when I hooked up with that big giant tuna this past August all by myself. So I've known Todd since we were little kids. We were on the same little league team. Fished together plenty of times. All right, let's see here. First victim. Boy, these are big eels. Really big eels. Give him a quick smack on a rock just to kind of calm the eel down a little bit. This right here, that's a size 5 trocar live bait hook. Just hook him under the jaw right out through an eye. Oh, I bet that's Todd. Hey, what's up, bud? What's up, Ryan? How's it going? 
Not too bad. I'm about to cast an eel out. Uh, let me send. How's the parking over there? I'm probably a ways away then. I'm in deep sea back right now. Oh my God! How'd you end up over there? I'll. Uh, that's okay. I'll t I'll text you a screenshot from Google Maps. Okay. Uh, you'll have no problem parking. Sweet. That's good. How far of a walk down is it? Uh, just like five minutes. Okay. So you park down in your car and then, uh, or wherever it is. Yeah. And walk straight down. Yeah. Just park next to my truck. It's an inlet. Okay. So. It's just a, it's a nice little inlet, so you'll see me. Cool. Uh, all right, we'll see you in a few. All right, I'll tax you. Yep. Yeah. So all I want to do with the eel, when you're fishing in current like this, just got to cast the eel up current. Just keep some tension on the line. And just let that eel drift. And it's not too deep right here, only about 15 feet, so I'm not using any weight. I'm just letting that eel drift in the current. And I'll feel a real solid whack when a fish takes it. When I feel that real solid whack, I'll just wait a moment. I'll let the fish eat it, and then I'll set the hook. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's a coyote howling at the moon. I got him. Oh, nice. Jeez. With an eel the size that I'm using, it's amazing this small guy even bothered with it. That is, eel's almost as big as him. He should be okay. I didn't even hook him, hooked him right in the corner. I don't know why he's bleeding a little bit. We'll get him back in the water. There you go, bud. All right, well that's good. Starting to get some hits. Big eel is doing the trick. Just rehook him and get right back to it. It's rigged up with a new eel. First cast, got a nice fish. A little bit bigger than the other guy. late October striper. So the key is once you feel that bite you want to let them eat it but you don't want to wait too long because then you'll get you'll hook them deep. But I only waited a couple seconds I set the hook and I hooked this guy pretty much just just under the top of the mouth there. Nice. Definitely some good fish in here. Hopefully there's a keeper. I do is cast this up current. Tough footing here. <laughs> ah, see if I can do this without falling in. Just cast up current. They've been holding right on the edge of the current. So I've just been reeling like this and when I feel the bite I just pause and then set the hook. Mm -hmm. 
Come here, buddy. Another nice little guy. They're just holding in this hole right on the edge of the current. looking fish. This guy feels a little bit bigger. Nice. Oh yeah, much better. Much better fish. Sweet. Looks good. Nice. Much better fish. Right in the corner. Didn't let him eat it for too long. Nice. I can hear Todd walking over here, so he's probably excited to see me catching. Nice fish. buddy catch your breath there he goes this fish here I've been getting them on pretty much every cast yeah that was a nice little uh, Maybe like 30 incher, so not bad. Yeah, I would just set up like anywhere right, right around here. I've pretty much been casting just up current a bit. So if you wanna see my bag right here, I bet like standing here and just casting that way, that'd probably work pretty good. Holy cow, that's a hell of an eel bucket. <laughs> Rigged up for him. So. All right. Yeah, not a good start. That's okay. You're here. The fish are here, so that's the important thing. <laughs> this eel has just about had it. He's definitely dead. Oh wait, no, he's still got a little life to him. You can see how beat up he is. See all the scratches on him. These are all from stripers grabbing onto them, all these scratches. So I'm just gonna cast this guy up current. There's a little hole right on the edge of the current where they've been hanging out. Yeah, I'm getting hits on just about every cast. Over here, Todd. I just had another one take my heel. Here, stand right on this rock. Stand right on this rock. Like, see those lights straight ahead there? Yep, it seems to be the spot. Yep, go for it. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're just like sitting right there. Every cast. Nice, taking some wine. Oh, Todd, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, Todd. Nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, yeah, great fish. Biggest of the night. I'll get a photo of you with him. If you can get him. All right. Big, I guess. Still got that eel? No. Got another one. Nothing huge. Well, it's just about low tide, and I haven't gotten too many more bites of you. Nope, it's been slow for the past 30 minutes or so. So it's that's off. that's got to be a wrap. Still a nice night. Got a nice 35 incher. Yeah, oh, that was a beautiful fish. Bunch of small ones. Nice, they'll swim right down to the bottom. There's another day. Yeah. Thanks for bringing me right. Yep, no problem. Make the walk back. Good night. A lot of bait in this little tidal pool here. Mummy chugs. <laughs>